my dear this is Jal Kumar Sen and uh, in this uh, video tutorial you are going to learn about Ernst uh, and margin theory as well as uh, cheap thickness ratio how to find out all related formulas basically a question has been asked related to this theory and uh, if we can implement uh, this theory right way then we can get answer of that question the question has been asked in gate previous year okay probably because of that you have landed on this page so few formulas first of all I am going to share with you first that is cheap thickness ratio if you are you are familiar with these formulas then you can just skip this video I mean just you can go to that numerical part okay so cheap thickness ratio is equal to uncut cheap thickness divided by cheap thickness you can say this cheap thickness is uh, after cutting right so t suppose that uncut is t1 and cheap thickness is t2 okay and you can say like this also t u c or t c or you can t a b you can say also say that let's say t a by t b okay so this is about it <coughs> now second that is most important tan phi is equal to 1 minus sorry it's r cos alpha by 1 minus r sin alpha and this this phi, phi is known as shear plane angle alpha is known as rec angle sometimes it is also known as i mean we can also say the side at side rack angle other than this there is other formula which is also important that is known as ernst merchant theory according to this theory we have 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 19 from this uh, relation we can find out any uh, any angle right if we have given two angles we can find out the other angle right now the fourth one that is coefficient of friction is equal to 10 beta so from these equations we can understand we can find out uh, you know we can easily find out it's uh, uh, it, it's a given what we have given to find out in the question so basically uh, you can understand about it how to implement these questions right way then you have to see the question i hope you wanted to learn that question right so let's go for that question only here is the question we got and uh, in this yeah, yeah, i hope you can uh, read it now. yes so what we have even in this question i am not going through that because i have already shared with you if you are not newbie if you know the formulas what formulas you required if you are familiar with all terms then you don't need to read the question first first of all if we have this type of question then it's really easy to solve because you know what you need to find like find out so here you can see what we have given to find out thickness of the produced chip that is we have to find out tv right because tv so we have to find out tv now for finding out tv we have formula cheap thickness ratio r is equal to ta by tv so for knowing finding out tv we need to know ta and we need to know r now let's find out things from here a cylinder is turned on a lathe with orthogonal machining principle a spindle rotates at this much the axial feed rate is this so axial feed rate means we have given uh, you know we have to find out uncut uncut cheap thickness we have given that is 0 0.25 we have to find out this b cheap thickness right and the depth of cut the depth of cut is this the rack angle alpha we have given now we have given the rectangle is 10 degree in the analysis it is found that the shear angle phi is equal to 27.75 now most important we have given TA. Now we have to find out R. Anyhow we can find out R then we can implement this equation and we can find out TV. So TV is equal to what will happen? TB. We have to find out what? Cheap thickness. Right. TV is equal to TA by R. You can say that. Now here we got what we got the formula I have already shared with you. 10 phi is equal to R cos alpha by 1 minus R sin alpha. Right. So we have to find out r now what i am doing i am dividing r r here so what we got cos alpha by 
वन बाई आर साइन वन माइन सॉरी वन बाई आर माइनस साइन एल्फा सो टेन एल्फा ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इज इक्वल टू कॉस टेन वन बाई आर माइनस साइन टेन ओके आई एम जस्ट डूइंग क्रॉस मल्टीप्लीकेशन सपोज दैट वी हैविंग वन सो वन बाई आर माइनस साइन टेन इज इक्वल टू कॉस टेन बाई टेन ट्वेंटी सेवन पॉइंट सेवन फाइव इफ विल सेंड दैट साइड देन वट विल हैपन दिस विल पॉजिटिव राइट सो वी गॉट द रिलेशन वर्ड वन बाई आर इज इक्वल टू दिस मच नाउ वी हैव टू फाइंड आउट आंसर फ्रॉम हियर and for this what we required we required calculator so we got the calculator cos 10 divided by 10 27.75 is equal to this much plus sin 10 is equal to this so what we got here 2.04 always get up to four decimal values i am taking five to get most requested answer now 1 by r what is r ta by tv what we have to find out tv so 1 by r ta by tv so after simplification what we got tb by ta and we have to find out tv so what we got here tb is equal to ta multiple this one okay so what we got 2.04545 multiple the uh, the ta ta is equal to how much we have given 0.25 0.25 we got here so what is the answer right now we are getting 0.511 the chief thickness right yeah so which one is the right option for us right now yeah second uh, sorry first option is the right answer for this that sheet thickness uh, ratio is 0.511 right now what we the second question we got coefficient of friction at the chip total interface obtained using ernst and merchant theory this is simple coefficient of friction we have to find out that is mu mu is equal to what we call 10 beta and they have already shared with you that ernst and merchant theory we have to use to find out its value right so to find out mu coefficient of friction we have to find out beta and we have the relation that is what is that relation let me share with you 2 phi plus beta minus alpha is equal to 90 degree right yeah you can see right now so phi is 27.75 B plus beta we have to find out and this is tan is equal to ninety. So beta is equal to plus. Uh, sorry, beta is equal to ninety plus tan. I can say minus two into twenty seven point seven five. So what we got ninety plus tan hundred hundred minus two multiple twenty seven point seven five. Is equal to how much getting we are right now we are getting four forty four point five right so forty four point five we are getting its angle now if we we'll do this calculation ten forty four point five what is the answer we are getting right now zero point nine eight two six so which one is the right answer zero point nine eight two six this one so A is the right answer. now i hopefully got the question how to solve question and to solve this question what we have used a uh, chip thickness ratio formula and phi shear plane angle we have used we have used ernst merchant theory as well as we have we have used the coefficient of friction formula so if you know these four formulas then you can easily find out the answer and get four marks in the examination but most important thing where you are going to get confused most of the time where we confused here chip thickness Sometimes we call T1 by T2, and we confuse we confused here what is T1 and what is T2. So let me share with you. Just use T1 is before and this is after. Before means before cutting process. That is feed. Okay. Before cutting process. That is feed. And after cutting process. That is chip. We are getting chip. We will we will see chip in after of op, doing operation in lathe. And probably you have. we have done some operation on lathe i don't, i don't know for you were where, in which class you were studying but yes if you are studying this then probably you have seen chip in uh, chip you know the spreading in front of the machine and most of the time we have seen in lathe machine so this is all about the chip thickness ratio shear plane angle and uh, ernst merchant theory as well as coefficient of friction four formulas can help you one most important thing i would like to share with you here i have seen most of the time questions relate I and mean, definitely you will get this formula is very useful in almost all of the questions 
that is shear plane angle shear plane angle is most important and also they have used this formula also so these two formulas are most important for competition examination just like it so don't go don't uh, get confused in these formulas and if you are getting confused while solving problems try to find out your own method to remember that would be much better try to relate with things which is around you in which you are familiar then you, it will become easier for you to understand and to remember for a long time i hope you understand the concept thanks for watching see you soon in my next video bye bye